Okay, EMP bomb. Hey, what's up, Big Daddy? They're not Bro Daddy, though. Or whatever I call them. Or Big Bro. Di bro uh, what the fuck did I call them? I don't even know. Uh oh. Well, at least uh, the alarms are dur durishes, Dad. Just kind of mad. Well, I'm not gonna bring any turrets with me. I don't think it's gonna count. Ah, fuck! I want turrets. I love turrets. I need them. They're like, oh fuck! There's like nothing here. Uh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Ah, uh, okay. Good, good. We're in good shape now. Um. Uh, okay, good. I have. Enough. Well, actually, I had enough to begin with. What am I talking about? Okay, over worried myself for no, no reason whatsoever. I have too much goddamn money again. Man. What kind of problems in Bioshock I have. Too much money. And there's the last hacking thing. Alrighty. I will come with my two turrets. My waffle's already full, so I'm gonna have to go. What the hell? Oh, I still did both that I missed. I'm like, I thought I could like touch his face. In the end, all that matters to me is me. And all that matters to you is you. All right, let's go wrench the motherfucker. Wrenching is always fun. I will freeze Andrew Ryan and then I will cross him in the face. That is how things are gonna go down. Oh look, he's dirty dad. No, it's not him. All right. Ryan 
Oh, uh, good. And that way. And that way, and that way. So only Ryan is apparently allowed to use the Vita Chambers. That's an interesting piece of knowledge for you right there. I'll, I'll, I'll sum it all, all up for you later. Um, just, uh, I'll give it a second. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, let the, I'll let the story commence, basically. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, I may be fucked. I am fucked. Fucking thing. Why do I want to hack this anyways? Because I want to. I'm a completionist whore. Is that, I have a problem. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, need to fill my cravings at the Circus of Values. God, guys. You guys need to get me some shit at the Circus of Values. Uh... Yeah, nothing I need. Alright. Well... Now I shall continue with the story. Whatever the story may be. Oh, someone got the someone got to the health back there. Huh. Anything up there? Fine, I'll continue. I know we're all excited. Calm down, children. No need to leave no need to leave angry comments. Alright. Would you kindly? So you broke a uh, broke your puppy's neck when he didn't want to. Let's finish this up. The assassin has overcome my final defense, and now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit, would you kindly? Stand, would you kindly? Run, stop, turn. A man chooses, a slave obeys. Kill! A man 
pieces! Would you kindly? I'll explain it all in a minute, I'm just gonna, you know, do a bit more of the story stuff. So clearly you do not have a choice in this matter, the game won't progress until you actually do this, so... Helping me. me. Ah, bullets. Bullets hurt. Bullets are like words. All right, let's go here. Come with me. No, I'm coming. Oh, I died. Okay. Oh, game over, guys. So now I gotta load for an hour and a half, or load into a new place. That that works too. This is what happens where you- this is where you go when- when you go into the Vita Chambers. Welcome back, child. Welcome to the city where you were born. You are angry at Fontaine, yes? Now you know the truth. You are his tool. Brought back to Rapture to save him. You have saved many of my little ones. I owe you a debt. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. His control is no longer complete, but he can still pull some very unpleasant strings. So you made your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys, but not all. Suchan designed your mind, taught Fontaine to control you. You might find answers in Suchan's flat in Mercury Suites. Who's he? He's the one who saved me. So yeah, there's less than here if you if you start killing him and whatever. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna eat your stuff. No, too bad it's mine. Get out of here. I'll fight you for it. I have a wrench. I'm not free to use it. 
so yeah, this is um, this is a great story. I think I, I usually don't play games where this story, but there he is. Hey, cool. I'm gonna play hopscotch. Okay, get out of my way. All right, all right. I win. Yeah. Okay. Um, I usually don't like. What? He's here to help us. I usually don't really play games for this story, but this one was like, th this one even surprised me. I thought it was good. Uh, you know, some people thought it was obvious, and I, I never really played System Shock because there's, uh, well, before before this one. So, uh, but there is similarities. But I still think it was a really great twist ending there, which is why the entire time I was basically not, I was pretending like I wasn't saying anything about it, and like some idiots in the comments were fucking saying shit, and I'm just like, fuck off. I deleted them. How does he know I'm not doing that? So now I'm slowly going to lose my maximum health. Once you are free of Fontaine's control, then you can have your revenge. And we can keep my little ones out of his filthy hands. So, um, I guess I'll uh, go over a bit of the, the story elements in case you were missing it or, or anything like that. Um, basically, the story is centered upon um, Frank Fontaine uh, against. Uh, Andrew Ryan, who's basically using his own system against him, basically with like the free market and stuff like that. And, um, so basically he was, you know, there was a market for things like, you know, buyables and, and shit like that, right? Oh, uh, okay, good. I can bring it over there. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually use the fuck. I already fucked up. Okay. Uh, there was a market for things like that, so he was basically smuggling shit in, and, uh, that, that's basically the entire story. And anyways, um, so, to fight, uh, Frank, Frank Fontaine is, like, illegal kind of doings, uh, he would basically, um, so at, at one point Andrew Ryan was going to bring him in, and that was the whole thing with him, uh, apparently getting shot down while they are going to apprehend him. And one guy warned him not to take control of his business interests because that would, like, you know, fucking piss people off because they basically came to this underwater city to, to have free market and stuff like that. And, like, everything Andrew Ryan has done has basically been hip hypocritical. No free market and stuff like that just because of the shit that uh, Frank Fontaine was doing. Alright, uh-oh. I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be setting off that thing just now. Um, so, apparently, um, Andrew Ryan fucked a hooker, or whatever, or dancer, whatever it was, um, and she was the one he actually killed in that other, in, in the other scene, so he had an illegitimate child, which she sold to Frank Fontaine, uh, and I don't have any turn pieces that go in the other direction. Oh, that's not cool. Um, so yeah, there's that, and so that's basically where, she, so she, she basically gave away her embryo for money, because she was strapped for cash, and she thought that Andrew Ryan was going to be really pissed off. Well, he killed her for it. And, um, so basically, uh, Andrew Ryan secretly kind of grew this, this, this person, like that, that was the whole thing, and conditioned, uh, conditioned the, uh, the person to basically, uh, here, let's just kill this guy. Conditioned him to listen to the catchphrase, would you kindly? 
And so that's why he's, he's been pulling strings the entire time. Uh, I, oh, fuck. Oh, that's good on me. Uh, 